Electronic waste is the fastest growing solid waste stream in the world. And what we do with it when it comes through our doors is we commoditize all the electronic waste. We turn it into plastic, glass, and metals. And it all goes back for reuse to smelters around the world. It saves the environment, it creates jobs, and there's a huge energy savings when it comes to commodities. When you recycle commodities, you save at least 50% of the energy from creating those products from virgin materials. Hi, my name is Anthony Borges, Electronic Recyclers Plant Manager. What they're doing here is they're demanding the CRT material that we get in. So once the material is received into our database, we have it come to our production line. It takes them anywhere from two to three minutes to dismantle the CRT material. What they're doing is they're breaking it up into six different commodities. You have the monitor board, which is a copper bearing material. You have our degaussing cable, yolks, and consumer copper, which goes in one bin. We have our wood product that we grind and it's reused for energy. We have our steel product, our white ABS plastic, and our black hips plastic. CRTs are then sent over to this machine. What you're left with is a bare CRT tube with a metal frame that's contained inside of it. And what you'll see right behind me is the key element to the CRT machine. It's the actual dust filtration system. What that allows us to do is capture all the leaded dust that's being created from the crushing of the CRTs inside the machine. After the glass has been crushed in the initial part of the crusher, it'll continue on about three quarters of the way through the belt. There's another magnetic belt where we'll grab all your metal frames, push them out one side so you have a marketable commodity, and all your glass will continue out the back side. Behind me, you see ERI's brand new, state-of-the-art e-shredding system. This system composes of over 45 different pieces of equipment weighing over 650,000 pounds, and at this present time, almost 1,700 horsepower. All this horsepower is processing everything from hard drives to 1,500-pound server systems, all electronics. Shred these electronics and to get clean commodities down the stream. Commodities being clean shredded steel, clean shredded aluminum, clean shredded precious metal products, which is the gold, the boards, and all the other copper wiring that's in the system, and then clean plastic at the end. You see one of the two in-feed conveyors that are the start of the e-shredding system. Each conveyor weighs over 35,000 pounds, is over six foot wide, and over 70 foot long. The first shredder processes it down to about four inches in size. It then goes up to another conveyor belt, and goes through a second shredder, which processes it down to an inch and a half and smaller. It then goes up another conveyor and underneath a cross belt magnet. This cross belt magnet pulls out all the steel. We process about 50 to 60,000 pounds of steel a day, which works out to be about 40% of the incoming E material that we shred. It goes into a sizer. This sizer separates into a larger and smaller group of material. That material goes across two different eddy currents. These eddy currents remove all the aluminum. We're reclaiming probably 95 to 98% of all the aluminum that's going into the system. A cradle-to-cradle -cradle methodology is one in which you stop at your waste and instead of simply following the traditional 3-H business model of the waste industry where you handle waste, haul waste, and heap it on a pile, you would actually take your waste, re-examine it, determine which of those elements made up biological nutrients and technological nutrients that you could come back into the make portion of the cycle and reiterate those nutrients into new products, closing the loop. So the old cradle to grave methodology becomes a cradle to cradle. You take something that once was waste and you bring it into something new that can be used again.